Lesson 1, thirds, example 1. Operations of multiplication and division. And this is the theory. Uh, the square root of A multiplied by the square root of B is equal to the square root of A multiplied by B. In division, the square root of A divided by the square root of B is equal to the square root of A divided by B. And the square root of A squared is A. Now we'll apply these principles to the, this first example. What we do here, simply rewrite that as the square root of 2 times 18, which equals the square root of 36. Now 36 is 6 squared, so the answer must be 6. Right now, in part two, to multiply these two thirds together, we first of all, we multiply the numbers outside the square root signs together. That will give us three times two, which is six times. Then we multiply the numbers inside together, and five times three is 15. There's no need to have that multiplication sign there. We write that as six times the square root of 15. Right now, in this part, we've got 3 root 5 all squared. That, of course, is written as 3 root 5 multiplied by 3 root 5. Of course, that gives me, multiplying those two together, 3 threes and 9. In this case here, it's not necessary to multiply those two together. You write that as 5 squared which is, according to this rule up here, just 5, so it's 9 times 5, which gives the result of 45. Right, in this part here, we've got a division one. So what I'll be doing here, I'll write that as the square root of, now I won't multiply them together, I'll just write 12 times 5, over 15. Now, use your calculator, I can quite easily do this. 5 goes into that 15 3 times, and 3 goes into 12 4 times. So that's the square root of 4, which you know is 2, or you could write it as the square root of 2 squared, which is also just the answer 2. The other way of doing it is you could have multiplied it together and said that's uh, the square root of uh, 5 times 12 is 60. And 15 to 60 goes 4, and do it that way.